Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're here with Shadowfax today who is eating up a bunch of spilled hay. It came out of that hay bag when we dragged a hay bag over the fence. So that's where the hay fell. And that's what he's cleaning up. And we got some chickens and some ducks and our turkey blue. So today I wanted to talk about vaccinating your horse. Not how to do it because I don't vaccinate myself. Why don't I vaccinate myself? I'm afraid of needles. I'll be honest about that. <laughs> Getting shots myself is not fun. I have a fear of needles. So I don't vaccinate my own horse. I have the vet do it. But you can vaccinate yourself. I don't. So I'm not going to show you how to vaccinate because I'm scared of needles. But I do want to talk about the importance of vaccines. Because vaccines can help prevent some really devastating diseases. Okay, you can prevent things like rabies, which is fatal. You can prevent things like West Nile, which can be fatal. You can prevent a lot of different diseases with just a couple of shots. So I highly recommend you vaccinate your pony. You can get a vet to do it. Or you can do it def yourself, depending on local regulations. So some areas simply do not allow you to buy the vaccines. You have to get them from a vet. And where we are, you can get the vaccines and administer them yourself, except for the rabies vaccine. Rabies vaccines have to be administered by a qualified veterinarian. So other than that, if I wanted to vaccinate myself, I absolutely could. And if you want to vaccinate yourself, depending on local regulations where you live, you might be able to do it. Most of the vaccines are intramuscular, so there's a couple that are nasal, but most of the vaccines are intramuscular, so you have to be comfortable putting a needle into the muscle and injecting. If you're not comfortable with that, just get the vet to do it. If you've never done it before, you can get the vet to show you how, and then just buy your vaccines from the vet and do it yourself. But if you've never done it, do get someone to show you how. It's a little more intimidating than you think sometimes. And you may not be entirely comfortable with it, and that's fine. So when you are vaccinating, hi, Lucy. Yes, hi. I love you too. But when you are vaccinating your horse, your mini horse, it's important to know that vaccines are dosed based on effectiveness, not weight. So for most vaccines, the dosage is going to be the same for a mini horse as it is for a standard size horse. That is a question people have a lot. Check the packaging on the vaccine before you administer it or ask your vet, they will know the answer. Hi, I'm being joined by one chicken after another here. I'm gonna be surrounded shortly. Yeah. <laughs> so check with your vet if you're really not sure about dosing, but generally vaccines are dosed based on effectiveness, not weight. Follow the directions on the label for how much to administer because most vaccines are one cc, some are two. So double check before you administer and check the label for how frequently you should revaccinate. A lot of them are annually, some are not. And then when it comes to revaccinating, double check with your vet. Here comes the turkey. Double check with your vet because your vet may have different recommendations based on your horse's lifestyle. So, for example, Shadowfax doesn't interact with other horses. He doesn't travel. He stays here on the farm with us. He's afraid of other horses, so he's not going to interact with other ponies. Therefore, his vaccines... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> but therefore, his vaccine schedule is going to be a little bit different than a horse that travels to shows or goes to clinics or even just goes to hang out at your sister's house. So check with your vet about what is recommended for your pony. After the initial dose, a lot of vaccines have a booster. Um, after that, they're usually given annually. Again, there are exceptions for contagious diseases and high-risk situations, like if you are going to a well-frequented show barn or whatever, certain facilities will have certain requirements for vaccines, how often, blah, blah, blah. So check with the facilities you are traveling to to make sure. Most horses 
whether they are in a herd, whether they're show horses, whether they just hang out in the backyard like Shadowfax, most of them are going to get things like tetanus, rabies, West Nile. These things are not transmitted horse to horse. So even if your horse is in a herd, they're not really in danger of getting West Nile from another horse. They get that from mosquitoes and other mosquito-borne illnesses are the same. So those vaccines are really important, even if you only have the one horse. That's why he is vaccinated against things like rabies, because he's not going to get that from another horse. He's going to get that from a bat or something in our area. A bat or a raccoon or a fox are our main carriers of rabies where I live. So we make sure he's vaccinated against that and against the West Nile encephalitis and against the tetanus and uh, so forth. For the things that are not transmitted horse to horse are the most important for him. He's not in danger of contracting something like strangles because he doesn't hang out with other horses. Okay. So the things that we vaccinate for like tetanus, like rabies, these things are devastating diseases that are usually fatal if they're not vaccinated for. Even if they are survivable, usually there's extensive and expensive veterinary care required and it can permanently damage your horse's performance or quality of life. So vaccines can just give your horse a longer, happier, healthier life and you won't have the many, many problems that can come with getting something that was entirely preventable that you could have avoided. So yes, you should vaccinate your horse. Your vet will know what is best for your horse's specific situation. So not every horse will get the same vaccine Shadowfax gets. And there are vaccines that your horse might need that mine doesn't because he doesn't travel and the area we live in, certain diseases will not be prevalent here. So you definitely need to check with your vet or other horse owners in your area to find out what is common, what is recommended for your area. Um, other vaccines that might be given are things like strangles or influenza. These are more common for horses that travel or horses that have contact with other horses, not shadow facts. I mean, if I have anything to say about it, he'll never have contact with another horse in his life because he's afraid of other horses. So he doesn't need to be vaccinated against strangles. It's not going to happen. In fact, our area had a massive strangles outbreak um, at the end of last winter. And we weren't worried because he doesn't have anything to do with other horses. <laughs> okay. So if your horse travels, it has a lot to do with other horses. Maybe you show your mini. Maybe you take your mini to events. Whatever it is, you might need some things like the influenza vaccine. Um, find out what's required. Hi, DK. Find out what is required for the event you're going to, for the facility you're, tra you're trailering to. Find out what you need to do in order to bring your horse there. Because, like I said, there are going to be rules regarding if you're showing at an official show or even if you're just doing 4-H or something. They're going to have requirements for specific vaccines. So check. Check in advance so that you don't get caught off guard and you're not like, dang, I have to miss it because I didn't know that he needed to have this vaccine six months in advance or whatever. So double check if you are going to be going to events. Keep up to date on what is recommended and required for the areas you are trailering to. And if you have a herd, your vaccines, again, will be a little bit different because you have more than one horse to consider. So... Vaccines are relatively inexpensive, especially when compared to the care that an ill horse needs if they do get those diseases. So it's even cost effective to vaccinate your horse. The Most of the vaccines for horses are really, really, really effective, especially rabies. Okay, Highly effective vaccines. You can get uh, combo vaccines sometimes or you can get single vaccines for individual things. Um, I like the combos only because it's one shot and done. Even though there can be a few more complications with the combos, you can have a little bit of swelling in the shoulder or whatever. Uh, talk to your vet about your specific horse because some horses are fine with the combos. Like he gets the combos. He gets a little sore in the shoulder for a few hours and then he's fine. Uh, not all horses react the same way to the same thing. So talk to your vet. Your vet knows your pony better than I do. Obviously, I've never met your pony. So definitely talk to your vet before you uh, kind of go off the rails and vaccinate however you like. Um, here's where somebody will probably ask about the titers testing that we do for dogs sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. 
But um, the titers testing basically is seeing whether or not your guy is still immune to a certain um, thing. So you can do titers testing for rabies, for example, in dogs. It's not really reliable in horses yet. We don't have a really reliable titers test yet for equines. So generally, titers testing is not acceptable if you're going to shows or facilities that require vaccinations. So you're probably just going to have to get the vaccinations anyway. But titers testing is an option for other animals. Right now, we don't really have it for equines yet. Not something reliable anyway. But that is my recommendation for vaccines. Talk to your vet. Take your pony's situation into consideration. <coughs> and even the frequency of vaccination will vary from one horse to another. So you do have to account for the individual pony. And you do have to account for the things that are prevalent in your area because that will change based on where you live. But that's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. We'll see you tomorrow.